Welcome back to Beak Engineering where engineers come to learn engineering softwares. Okay, this in this video we're going to do a small assignment uh, for Hyperworks. So first in this assignment what we do is how to open a uh, file, how to save a file, how to import and export uh, Hypermesh uh, files. If you want to uh, go to this assignment, you can go into free courses in Hyper, Hyperworks. I am using Hyperworks uh, 2022 edition. So we're going to use some a basic exercise first which are there in the exercise links and the project link is also given here how to do the step by step process. So before anything, let's start. Let's start. I already opened up. The first step is it is asking us to create import open bumper underscore century mid. Okay, let's do that file open. I'm opening a file which is basically this one all right opened it loaded because it's already saved in the previous version so it's asking to need loaded so the next thing what they are asking is step two is import hypermesh model now understand the difference now i opened up a model now i'm importing a model so open is here import is here i'm importing a hypermesh model what is it saying which one i should import i should import bumper underscore mid so let's open up bumper underscore mid okay let's save it it is asking uh, should i attach it and everything let's this is the basic exercise i'm not going to deep into it i'm just clicking in okay what it is is saying is uh, i just opened it now what is it it has all the element data fem data part data everything you can see if you click on elements these are the elements that are already there okay all right so what is the second thing access the import tab this is how you're going to do it then the third step is import igs geometry file so most of the step file igs file you can also import that as well that is what it's saying import igs geometry file for that what i'm going to do file import i'm not going to go for hypermesh file because i want a uh, it's a cat file so i'm going to import it what what is the one that i have to import uh bumper underscore and igs so let's go for bumper underscore and igs so I am importing the body. So this is this is how imported IGS IGS part is already imported. So this is what it is saying. So next, what is what do we want is important opti opti struct import file, which is basically opti struct is a solver. So it is a FEM file. So what I'm gonna do is file import. It's a solver. I want to select this and fem file which one is fem or a bumper uh, fem file now this is already imported if you see that close i'm going to just close it what 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 was the difference between this uh, after importing it is before we just imported the part file now we imported the uh, element data and any analysis data that we have saved so that is the difference so what is the next one that is the opti structure input file so we have imported a fem file now save the hypermesh session as now we we are done with opening and importing now we go into the saving section so in saving section what we're going to do is save as model so first thing first we can save it as model save save as a no, i want to save it as save as model file save model what i'm going to do uh, what is it saying same the name as practice.hm practice so this is the practice hm so save it i already have it but i'm just replacing it okay so what is that i have saved the whole file as an item file and saved this as practice now second thing is export the model geometry data into igs file called as igs so what is it saying igs doesn't have a analysis data it just has part data if you open it up file export it as geometrical cat model which is basically i want to change it there's multiple ways you can do it but i want to do it in igs format all right igs i already have it so i'm just going to save it and rewrite it all right i already done that export all right now so before this you need to understand difference between what is a cad model what is an analysis file so this is a prerequisite you need to know before doing this any of this now the second thing is we have already in the igs file now export the model mesh data into optistruct info file called fem so for what for that what i'm going to do is called file export as solver tech now what i'm going to oh, it's already selected if you see there is all the different type of uh, uh, analysis file you can use answers dyna there are many many solvers that are already available but now i'm only using opti structure solver practice i'm going to say it as practice i'm going to save it it's already 
it there so it is asking me to resave it i'm going to say export so that is how we're going to open a file import a file save a file and export a file so in the next video we're going to go into the different other other practice modes hey thanks for watching the video if you like the video give us a like and subscribe to our channel if you want to learn the software hyper mesh give the call to this number or you can also whatsapp us if you want to learn by yourself you can also check out our website where we have free course available